Oh, we've got a jack. That also comes with it. Alcohol jack. You also got that's your alarm box there. Which oh, that's your alarm box. Yeah, there, right. Okay. They felt similar to what you had on your previous van. Right. Okay. Yeah. Good. Right. Good. Okay. Keys. So we got one key does all. So one and a spare. Oh, locker and door. Yeah. Oh, good. Does everything. And then you've got your alarm fob. So yeah. torch at the end of it. So the first button torch. Second button down is your set your alarm. Lock. Yeah. Hear that one beep on? Yes. Yeah. Press it. Two beeps off. Okay. Right. Good. Then also third button down. You can oh, also switch well, your awning light on and off by rem remote, or you can switch it obviously by manual. But if you switch it on manually, you can't switch it off so on your remote. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So if you're going to use, yeah. So if you want to use remote, make sure it's off on your manual right. manual side of it. Yeah, okay. Good idea. Fantastic. Good idea. Very good. Yeah. Right. Very good. Would you like to go inside? Oh. Right. Put my slippers on. Uh, James will shout at me if I get the Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> 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 Oh dear. Right. So just above our heads is a control panel. I don't know if that's something similar to your last panel or not. No, it isn't. Is that different? No, yeah. it's totally different. It's, it's, I'm going to say it's quite straightforward. Obviously, I do that every day, but straightforward enough. You can show, obviously, you can see lights and things are on, so obviously the control panel is on. So that's your master switch with 12 volts. So the control panel's asleep. Well, I, just, I can just press any button just to light it back up again, but when you're switching 12 volts on, it's obviously your power button. Yeah. Water pump switch. That's showing you level of your ledger battery. So we're showing 14 volts because it's going for a charge at the moment. If I want to check it, just press the few levels. Again, that's showing you 14 volt. Yep. That is uh, your bollard, so that's your electric connected to your caravan. That is just to show your ledger batteries connected to your caravan. Indeed. Right. Okay. Yep. If you want to, it obviously you could show your vehicle if it obviously it was attached. Yes. And you could probably operate it off the 12 volts off your car as oh, well. Oh, I see. That's that but, one. But yeah. this right hand side one. Yeah. Is. Yeah, this yeah. One, yeah. Yeah. But obviously, if you start drawing 12 volts off your car, it's when you're sending no ring, you're going to be flashing that battery. I wonder if that's the best one to start trying to start on a flat It's battery. a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not going to be easy, is it? It is. It's not going to be easy. Right, so. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah so that's, that's, that's very good. Yeah, yeah. Straight, straightforward enough. Right, yeah. the ne next thing is obviously your water system. You, right. I'm going to say the water system will be exactly the same. Oh, sorry. As in, you've got a drain. Obviously, you need to close before you start get, trying to get the water in, which is an easy, easy There's position the drain to get to. There. Yes. Yeah. So yes. that's your drain there. Yep. Good. Okay. While well, we're down here as well, you can see that's your consumer unit. That might look similar to your last one. It does. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. Yeah. So you're heating the hot water on one switch there. That's just a spare, but you can see that it lights up, but it doesn't do anything. It's not connected to Nothing anything. Nothing there. Right. So heating hot water. If you haven't switched that on, you won't be having any power electric-wise to your boiler. So you need to switch that on. Right. Okay. Charger button. So as long as you've got electric connected you can obviously switch That's that it. on that would charge your battery yes reverse polarity is an indicator light so if you go on the continent they tend to wire things slightly different than what we do plug your electrics in come in have a look if it is lit then it, it is reverse you're going to need an adapter to operate off their electrics all right okay trip Good. switches for the electrics again yep. info up there to what they're connected to same yes. your 12 volt fuses same there then what we've also got is a system shutdown button okay when yep. you're in storage what you can do is switch that off and that will obviously power down and, and stop yeah stop you draining your battery right obviously you can still drain it over a period of time but obviously that's, that slows it down a bit yeah just remember to switch it back on there when you come to use the van because that up there switch on the top there won't switch it on if you haven't switched it on there right okay right it's useful that that the 12 volt is is all in one unit yeah because on the old van it was you know yeah, was, electrics were there and over 12 it. volt was over there oh there. yeah yeah they hide them right in the corner where oh, you can't get to it hellish right like, yeah, yeah. And then you find that the, the water bo the boiler switch is also in that corner somewhere. You either try to get this all the cushions off or you try to scramble under that. Oh, it's awful. Right, so to get the water system all pressurised will be exactly the same as what you would have done your previous van. Yes. Just before you switch the water pump on though, just make sure things like taps are in the correct position. Because you can imagine where that can go yeah. if you... If you <laughs> nearly, 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 nearly. Yeah, rusty cooker. Yeah, but you can have a lot of water going where you don't want it. Yeah. 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 Oh, thanks very <laughs> much. <laughs> So exactly, so you, exactly the same as what you would have done previously. Get obviously, what I tend to do is operate on the cold side first. Yes. Make sure you've got water coming through, and then and turn it across the hot side. Yep. That's it. Get the air out. Yeah, get all the air out. Yeah. What well, we should have see a bit of steam in a bit. Yeah. Obviously, you can see the steam coming. Oh, it's out working. There. Yeah. It's yeah. working. So all right. So I've had the boiler up and running. Good. Obviously, you won't you won't get that instant. It's obviously over a period of time. It takes say half an hour or so to just yes. to warm your water up. Yeah. yeah. Because some people think, oh, that's quick, that's easy. Very efficient you? system, aren't they? Oh, they are, you they know? are very good, yeah. very good. Yeah. Okay. I, well, I laughed at the weekend, we were talking with my brother, and they've got a...